Right, tonight on the border is on the hook for a crash that severely injured an exchange student in San Diego. A local jury did not buy the company's reasons for why it shouldn't have to pay for an employee's mistake. Tenders reporter Steve Fiorina is live on the story and Steve attorneys for the victim convinced the jury that uh, this person was overserved. That uh, lawsuit came after a conviction on felony hit and run, not DUI. They did not have time to draw blood for the blood alcohol level. On the border, though, is being held liable. Pictures of the scene of a car versus skateboarder accident in late 2012. He left the skateboarder with many broken bones, seriously injured. He was in a wheelchair and he was on crutches. He's got problems uh, walking like you and I, has a limp. He used to be a really good athlete, was an intercollegiate volleyball player in Taiwan, had played uh, competitive basketball his whole life and can no longer do any of that. Kai-Yen Ching sued the restaurant chain where the driver worked and was accused of having several shots at a birthday party there after he had clocked out. Vincent Quintanilla was convicted of felony hit and run, then came the civil suit. The jury sided with Chang and awarded him over one and a half million dollars for medical care and pain and suffering. He's pleased with the jury's decision. It's been a long road for him. Chang's attorney said the award sends a message. The clear message is if you are a responsible employer, uh, you don't give alcohol to your employees knowing they may later drive. Jury verdict could also have an impact on office parties. Work should be for work. Uh, if you want to drink, go somewhere else. The accident victim has gone back to Taiwan. He probably won't see money for a while, though, and uh, appeal is expected. Live in Mission Valley, Steve Fiorina, 10 News.